Hi and welcome to my show. Friends, horror stories have a great market and horror stories also have a long life. The book that I'm going to relate to you today is uh, Psycho. I'm sure you must have heard about it. Psycho was written in the year 1959 by American author uh, Robert uh, Block. The book is so 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 very scary that one might even feel scared meeting its author. The novel is widely recognized as uh, Block's most illustrious work, so intensely written that even while narrating to you, even when I'm telling you this story, now I'm getting a feeling as if someone is standing behind me. The book was later adapted uh, into Alfred Hitchcock's uh, seminal 1960 film of the same name and was loosely adopted into uh, the Bates uh, Motel uh, television series of uh, 2013-2017. Block later wrote two uh, sequels uh, which are uh, unrelated to any of uh, the film uh, sequels. The novel tells us the story of uh, a person by the name of uh, Norman Bates, a caretaker of an isolated motel who struggles under his domineering uh, mother and gets embroiled in a series of murders. Normal uh, Bates is the main protagonist of this novel who traces his struggle with insanity, particularly split personality disorder. In the novel, Norman uh, is uh, described as uh, in mid-40s, uh, over overweight, pale and balding. As a child, Norman had, a, had an extraordinary or extremely uh, dysfunctional, even abusive relationship with his mother that uh, forever changed his ability to relate normally in uh, society. As an adult, Norman lives alone with his mother and runs the Bates uh, Motel. When the novel opens, Norman is uh, reading about uh, Oedipus uh, situation or complex. So friends, I guess everybody understands Oedipus complex. It's a kind of a complex uh, by virtue of which a male child starts uh, falls in love with his mother. So that's what we call Oedipus complex. So this uh, person uh, is reading about Oedipus uh, complex with a hope of understanding more about his uh, strange relationship with his mother. It's clear that Norman's uh, relationship with his mother was deeply affected. Uh, the way he views all women, particularly women to whom he is sexually attracted. Norman uh, drinks as an excuse to block the strange voices uh, coming to his head, arguably his mother's uh, voice telling him that he is good for nothing and uh, reminding him that he is uh, impotent. Now all in uh, all, Psycho is a horror story of uh, Norman Bates and uh, his strange relationship with his mother and the motel he runs on the side of a deserted highway. So it's a very, very scary uh, story and in, I am sure you might have seen the movie, uh, but uh, yet I am relating this story to you just to uh, refresh you. The novel opens uh, with an image of a 40-year-old Norman Bates reading in his office. His mother approaches and scolds, scolds him for reading filthy material. The two get into a vicious fight is when the mother lambasts uh, Norman <coughs> royally. Uh, so mother lambasts uh, Norman royally. He is too weak and too afraid to stand up to her. She challenges everything of Norman from his social skills to his sexual uh, choices while he silently takes the abuse. In his head, however, he imagines the release he would feel if he could uh, kill his mother, but the buzzer ringing at the front door breaks him from his uh, reveries. Someone needs a room in the motel. The woman who needs a room, uh, her name is Mary Crane, has just driven across several states in the pouring rain. Uh, Norman doesn't know that Mary, Mary Crane has stolen some $40,000 from her real estate boss. She hopes to meet 
uh, Sam Loomis, her fiance, with whom she's having a long distance uh, relationship. And uh, with his money, she wants to settle his debts and start a married life together. After getting lost on the highway, Mary pulls into the Bates Motel and asks for a room. Norman, who has clearly never interacted with young women, slyly asks Mary up to the house for dinner. She accepts, but then, but when she hears, uh, hears of a horrific and seemingly abusive relationship that Norman has with his mother, she gently suggests that Norman put his mother in an institution. This idea outrages Norman, who shouts and screams that his mother is normal, she is not crazy. Mary quietly ex excuses herself and returns to her room and uh, vows to return the money she has stolen so that she doesn't end up uh, being tortured uh, by guilt. Moments later, an old woman enters Mary's room while she is in a shower and beheads her. So, she is killed. In the moments before Mary was murdered, Norman had been watching her undress through a peephole in his office. He was drinking at the time and passed out in his chair. He awoke to find Mary's corpse uh, and immediately suspected his mother to be the murderer. He momentarily considers letting my mother go to the prison, but uh, the thought of very thought of uh, uh, being separated from her is too much for him. He knows he must protect her, help cover up her, her crimes. Norman methodically cleans up the murder scene just as he remembers cleaning up uh, the scene with mother and uh, Uncle Joe. All these, <coughs> all those years ago, so uh, in other words, uh, this guy uh, uh, Norman remembers the way he had cleaned uh, his mother and Uncle Joe long some, some years ago. He deposits Mary's corpse and the car into the sinkhole behind the motel and assumes he has got away with the murder. Meanwhile, Mary's old boss, uh, Mr. Uh, Lori, uh, hires a private detective to track Mary in order to recover his uh, $40,000 that uh, she had stolen. The detective, his name is Mr. Arbogast, traces Mary to the motel and now stands uh, knocking at the door demanding to speak uh, with Mr. Uh, with uh, Norman or uh, his mother. Moments later, the same mysterious figure who appears to be an old woman uh, attacks uh, Ar Arbogast and slits uh, his throat. Uh, Norman, uh, Norman deposits Arbogast's body and the car in the same sinkhole uh, where he had deposited uh, Mary's uh, body. Unfortunately for Norman, Mary Crane's uh, little sister, Lila, by now had grown uh, suspicious of her sister's uh, disappearance. She meets up uh, with uh, Sam uh, Loomis. Sam, now Sam Loomis is uh, uh, Mary's uh, boyfriend to search for her. They too trace Mary back to the Bates uh, motel. Lila is now uh, convinced that something terrible has happened to Mary in the motel only. She notifies the local sheriff but he insists that she is wrong. He tells her that Norman Bates is harmless and that his uh, mother had been uh, dead for years now after she poisoned herself and her lover, Uncle uh, Joe. Unconvinced, Lila arranges for Sam Loomis uh, to distract Norman while she explores the house searching for clues. Although Sam does his best to distract Norman, he drops his guard when Norman smashes a whiskey bottle over Sam's head and and uh, this is how this guy acts, he is nutty, knocking him unconscious. Meanwhile, as uh, Lila explores the house, she finds a tiny uh, shriveled woman <coughs> whom she assumes is uh, Mrs. Bates. But as she approaches, she discovers that the woman is actually a taxidermal corpse or you could say a stuffed corpse, a stuffed dead body. Norman uh, appears behind Lila dressed in his mother's clothes and speaking in a high affected tone saying I am Norma Bates I am Norma Bates he raises a butcher's knife and pounces on Lila but Sam who wakes up from his stupor manages to wrestle uh, Norman away from her and hold him there 
uh, until he is arrested. In the weeks that follow, it is discovered that Norman murdered his mother uh, and her lover, Uncle Joe. Uh, to mask the guilt he, he felt uh, over the murders, Norman developed a split personality in which mother became his alternate self. At the trial, Normal is found to be insane and is uh, institutionalized or you could say uh, imprisoned in a house uh, prison for life. So this is what um, uh, happened to Norman. He was actually a psycho case uh, and, uh, the, and it all happened because uh, in the manner that his uh, mother uh, treated him uh, during his childhood. So friends, um, uh, it's a very interesting book and, and if you, I'm sure you must have seen the movie and uh, uh, considering the time it was written, I would rate this book uh, at least uh, 8 out of 10. So friends, if you like my show, kindly share it and also subscribe to our channel by pressing the red icon. Also don't forget to press the bell so that you are notified each time we upload a video. So goodbye and see you soon.